Hey superstars, welcome back to another one of my autograph videos where I doodle a sports ball player and bug him through the mail for an autograph. Today's lucky victim is Mr. George Altman. But George Altman is no victim. He's an international super spy who's traveled all over the world saving humanity as we know it by playing baseball. Or that's my theory anyway. In the 50s, he played in the Negro Leagues for the Kansas City Monarchs and then ended up serving in the U.S. Army and playing Winter League ball in Panama and Cuba. And this was during the beginning of the Cold War. Coincidence? I think not. Now, everybody knows that the Chicago Mafia was colluding with the CIA in the early 60s to help overthrow Castro and Operation Mongoose. And when you're working with the outfit, you gotta be careful. So the CIA stationed one of their best operatives, Agent Altman, in the outfield of the friendly confines of Wrigley alongside Billy Williams and Lou Brock, you know, just to keep an eye on things. He was doing a fantastic job, not only keeping the outfit in check, but also making the all-star team three times. Now this was all hush hush and the Cubs were unaware of Agent Altman's CIA work so they traded him to the Cardinals in 1963 because that's something the Cubs would do, you know. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot for Altman to do in St. Louis but he did manage to split the St. Louis crime family from the Kansas City crime family. In 1964, the CIA relocated him to the New York Mets to keep track of the five families. The World's Fair was in New York that year, and Agent Altman decided he'd like to travel to Japan to learn karate someday. But there was still a lot of work to be done in Chicago, so he went back to the Cubs from 65 to 67. But in 1968, he got to go play in Japan and hone his karate skills, which actually helped his baseball career as well. He played in Japan from 68 to 75, hitting homers and karate chopping bad guys until he was poisoned with a fugu fish. Officially, it was listed as colon cancer, but the pain was too much to bear after surgery, and he had to end his long storied super spy uh, er, baseball career. All right, there's our man, Mr. Altman. I've got this cool 63 card. Uh, got our note and we're off to the mailbox. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice, he signed the card and the doodle. Got a little beat up though, but those look great. He answered some questions. He enjoyed playing in Japan more than Cuba. His favorite artist is No, great Japanese calligrapher. And Danny Glover would play him in the movie. Super cool. I am thrilled with these, so thank you, Agent Altman. Normally, I would have sent this doodle to Autographs for a Cure, but it was too beat up, so I gifted it to Caleb a while back. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, this is all confidential information, so don't tell anyone. But do like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we will see you next time. This message will self-destruct in three, two, one.